I walk through a county courthouse square, and on a park bench, an old man was sitting there. I said, your old courthouse is kind of run down. And he said, no, it'll do for our little town. And I said, your old flagpole has leaned quite a bit, and that's a ragged old flag you got hanging on it. And he said, have a seat. So I sat down. Is this the first time you've been to our old town? I said, I think it is. Well, I don't like to brag, but we're kind of proud of that ragged old flag. You see, we got a hole in that flag there when Washington took it across to Delaware. And it got powder burns the night that Francis Scott Key sat watching it and wrote, oh, say, can you see? Got a bad rip down in New Orleans with Packenham and Jackson a tugging at her seams. And she almost fell at the Alamo beside that Texas flag, but she waved on, though. Why, she got cut with a sword at Chancellorville. And she got cut again at Shiloh Hill. Here was Robert E. Lee, Beauregard, and Bragg. The south wind blew hard on that ragged old flag. In Flanders Field, World War I, she took a big hole from a Bertha gun. And she turned blood red in World War II. Hung limp below a time or two. Why, she was in Korea, Vietnam. She went where she was sent by her Uncle Sam. And she waved from our ships on the briny foam. But they've just about quit waving her back here at home. Yes, in her own great land here, she's been abused. She's been burned, dishonored, denied, and refused. And the government for which she stands was scandalized throughout the land. Oh, she's getting threadbare. And she's wearing thin. But she's in good shape for the shape she's in. Because she's been through the fire before. And I think she can take a hell of a lot more. So we raise her up every morning and we take her down every night. We don't let her touch the ground and we fold her upright. And on second thought, I do like to brag. Cause I'm mighty damn proud of that ragged old flag. Let the word go forth from this time and place that the torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans born in this century. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. <laughs>